everybody. Today is Saturday, August 1st. Happy August. We're going to be looking at Acts chapter 20 and Proverbs chapter 1, and I hope, I hope it's okay if we have a little fun in our time together. I want to start by telling you a story. John and I have been pastoring for many years, and we've had the pleasure of attending lots of pastors conferences and leadership training sessions, and I personally love the question and answer sessions. I find them they're usually more casual and relaxed, and I love them. And so anyways, I'm going to tell you a story about what happened at one of them. I was at a leadership conference, and the question and answer session it was involving two men. They were ve they're very successful pastors in America, and they were bantering back and forth. They were, they're very close friends, had been childhood friends, and the subject of long-winded preaching came up. And one of the pastors is known for being very concise in his preaching styles, and the other one is, is, fairly, is known for being fairly long-winded. And the, the concise preaching style starts poking at the long-winded preacher and saying, you shouldn't be so long-winded. It got, it, got, it got uncomfortably heated. It, for, for myself sitting in the audience, I was like, whoa, okay. I, I, I'm getting a backseat, uh, backseat view of their friendship of some uncomfortable moments. And he continues poking and poking and poking, and he he finally ends it he winds it up by saying well at least no one got bored to death in the midst of one of your one of your sermons and what it's what it's referring to is the store a story in Acts chapter 20 verses 7 through 12 uh, I'm gonna read it to you quickly and one of the things that I find so intriguing is that Luke who is the author of Acts he literally pokes in this passage at Paul who is the speaker who's going on quite well so let's read the story on the first day of the week, we gathered with the local believers to share in the Lord's Supper. Paul was preaching to them, and since he was leaving the next day, in Paul's defense, he's, he knows that he's never going to see these people again, so he decides he's going to give them everything he's got. He's leaving the next day. He kept talking until midnight, poke number one. The upstairs room where we met was lighted with many flickering lamps. As Paul spoke on and on, poke number two, a young man named Eutychus, sitting on the windowsill, became very drowsy. Finally, he fell asleep and dropped three stories to his death below. Talk about a disruption in the service. Paul went down, bent over him, and took him into his arms. Don't worry, he said. He's alive. So the young man, Eutychus, was raised to death, which probably should be my main focus for the story, that someone was raised to the dead. But anyways, I, I go on. Then they all went back upstairs, shared in the Lord's Supper, and ate together. Paul continued talking to them until dawn. Poke number three by Luke. Meanwhile, the young man was taken home unhurt, and everyone was greatly relieved. So I love the story of Eutychus. It's a classic story in preaching and pastoring circles. The, basically, the emphasis, hey, don't bore people to death, because remember the story of Eutychus. Somebody literally got bored to death. So that's my fun little, fun little um, interpretation of the Word of God that pastors use. I, I hope you like it. All right, on to Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 1. The purpose of Proverbs is the opening that they open with. I love uh, verse number three. Their purpose is to teach people to live disciplined and successful lives. And today I want to leave you with God does want you to be successful. And one of the reasons why we read the book of Proverbs is that so we can gain the wisdom to be successful. I think sometimes that God's definition of success and our definition of success don't always look the same, and we have to learn that because God does want us to have success in our lives. All right, I love you so much. I miss you. hope you have a great Saturday.